let's look at what's at stake. This is not something that we can just shrug off. It's going to cause issues. Even if you manage to shrug it off for a couple of years, then we want new carpet, new tile, new flooring, we're moving, we're going to have a new whatever, or we're just sick of the smell, we're sick of the, the uh, cost of having the, the carpets cleaned. We have to ask a terrible question. Can we keep this dog? And even though you've loved the dog, it's been your pet. You know, this you're, you're up against a really, really rough place. Now, there's a whole bunch of folks that are going to, you know, they say, oh my gosh, you know, your responsibility to the dog. He said, yeah, well, I'm here to assure you that I know where you're coming from. Um, I've heard it a lot. Um, you know, dog students tell you a lot about how they're feeling and what's going on. At least, you know, I try and get that from them. My job is to stop that question. I don't want you to ask it. I want you to be totally confident and comfortable. You've got the tools, you've got the DVD, you've got the book. This can be done. Okay, we're going to do this together. Of all of the problems that occur with the dog owner relationship, in 27 years of dog training, probably the worst one, uh, really the, mo the, the reoccurring problem, the one that causes the most grief down the line, is this potty training problem. Uh, I probably hear more about this than almost any other uh, situation that, that we have as a trainer. Uh, it can be done. I promise you that. Uh, this is not, it is not something that we're going to accept 70% uh, or 80%. It's not something that is involving potty pads or papers in your home because, folks, look, I know that there's a lot of this uh, in the media, there's, there's a lot of talk about the alpha, the pack leader dominance. Well, potty training is about dominance. It is not about manners. Dogs, many of my students are frustrated, they don't understand. Can't the dog understand what I want? You know, I mean, it's, it's just manners to go outside. I'm, I'm trying to take them out every 20 minutes. I'm trying to, the, the dog won't go. The dog plays around and then we come in the house, the dog goes in the house. Look, in many cases, your dog does know what you want and they choose that they opt not to do that. That is a dominant situation. Dogs that are not, that have no idea, um, we're going to cover all of that. We're going to start and show and teach your dog and you about potty training. Now, why is potty training so important? There, there are some folks, uh, I mentioned the 70 or 80 percent. I also come, run into that all the time. I've been in this, like I said, for 27 years. I've been in over 1,500 homes. You, you hear this, well, you know, things are okay. Um, every once in a while we have a potty accident um, downstairs. The dog goes downstairs. Um, whether it's uh, the dog pees, whether the dog poops downstairs, whatever. You've got something that's going on and there will be a set of circumstances where the dog acts out in this fashion. Now, almost always, almost always, there will be a link between the potty problem and obedience. I can almost guarantee you that if you've got potty issues, you have issues with your obedience training as well.